Welcome back to Go Bold, brought to you by Revlon. Today we're at Elle Magazine with one of the most powerful women in fashion, Editor-in-Chief Robbie Myers. This episode is all about putting on the final polish, not only on your brand, but also on yourself. So get ready to Go Bold. Welcome back, ladies. Hello. Hi. How you feeling? Excellent. I'm so excited. Awesome. Now, we've come full circle, ladies. We're back here at the iconic Hearst Tower where we started. Today, we're talking about putting on the final polish. So it's only fitting that we bring you a mentor provocateur who makes one of the world's largest fashion magazines shine. I'm Robbie Myers, the editor-in-chief of Elle. For me, I always wanted the next great job. And the nice thing about working the way that I worked at all these various different places is you sort of put together a worldview, which I think led me here. There are some things that I know, and I actually like the chance to share some of that. It's exciting. Well, I mean, it's almost a cliche to say that you learn more from your mistakes than from your successes. I think you learn a lot from both. You cannot move forward without making mistakes. You can say, what have I learned? What can I take from this? A lot of people, I think, go forward thinking that the next failure is just around the corner, but if you could switch that and think, well, really, the next success is around the corner, there's a lot to look forward to. Now, Robbie, I understand that at Elle Magazine, you say it's not just about the dress, but it's also about the woman in the dress. Can you talk to us about what you mean by that? Well, you know, we're a fashion magazine, and we love fashion, and we think it's important to care about the way that you look before you go out and live your very interesting, I hope, complicated, challenging, <laughs> and fun life. And that's really what we want to do at Elle, is help you find that life for you, what that's going to be. Today's inspiration product is Revlon's Colorstay Gel Envy, because we want you to put the final polish on yourselves. We've watched you come a long way, and we want you to create a short presentation showing us what you've learned and how you plan to polish your brand going forward. You've presented yourselves in print, in business plans, and now I want you to present yourselves on stage in Elle's auditorium in front of a live audience. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Robbie, what will you be looking for? Well, I'm looking for the whole story. I want to see the journey. I want to see how far you've come. I want to see where you started. And I want to get a sense of each one of you and exactly what it is that makes you so bold and provocative. OK, ladies, you have the evening to go home and polish your presentations. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Best of luck. Welcome everyone, and thank you for coming. This is the final challenge of Go Bold, brought to you by Revlon. Please put your hands together for Jayla. Hi guys. So I'm a little nervous. I look out into the stage, into the crowd, and I see all these people, and yeah, it got, it got real. My foundation. One of the hardest parts of my journey has been my weight loss. It, paved who I was, having a lot of pain, being that girl and being ridiculed and being told I was never going to be anybody. And that is a lie because here I am before you today as proof that it can happen. This is the first time that I ever put a side-by-side -side picture of um, myself after the weight loss. Obviously, like, the emotion set in. When I met with Kelly, she was speaking about being alone feeling alone, not having a mentor. And when she said those words, tears came running out of my eyes. Cause that's something I've never had. I've had to do this all on my own. My family doesn't know what the industry was. I've had to teach them. They were scared. They thought I was gonna become Lindsay Lohan. They didn't know any better. I just tried to honestly connect with as many of the girls as possible. You know, it was nice. That little five-year-old girl who watched TV and said, I wanna do that one day, is now doing it. And that's totally Jayla approved. <laughs> Thank you. For me, it's become a lot clearer who I am and who I want to be in my brand. I just think that there's still a little bit more um, work to define that. My name is Bridget Blonde. I created a brand called The Blonde Locks. I'm in the middle of my presentation. 
I keep trying to remind myself to breathe, but yet I'm not listening because I just see all these faces staring at me and I'm just like in panic mode. Um, breathing has actually been probably my savior throughout this whole thing that I have learned to do because I never breathe, apparently. <laughs> I got up there and he did exactly what I was telling myself not to do. I feel like I panicked and I just sort of was like, ah, you know, like trying to spit things out. I definitely was not taking full advantage of being part of this project because I lost the first three challenges. I had a <laughs> super fun, fourth challenge and I was disqualified. I was infuriated with myself and I know that I can win these challenges and they just came down to me not paying attention. I had all of these thoughts going through my head and I wrote this down and I've been carrying this around in my wallet and I've won three challenges since. Luckily, I do think that I hit my points. I know who I am. I know what a babe of radness is. I know that I can change this world and give girls a voice. And this is why I believe that I am y'all's new provocateur. Surprisingly, my journey on this show is totally unexpected for me. There's room for growth, and that's a positive for me. Okay, so I am Christina Blacken, and I am a founder of a website called The New Quo. I walk out on stage, and I feel like I've had like three shots of whiskey. I get into such a zone that I don't even like see what's going on. I wanted to start out by asking all of you really one simple question. How many of you have faced failure or rejection in your life by a raise of hands? There's not one human being on this planet that hasn't had some kind of failure or rejection in their life. It gives me a platform to talk about my journey, which is full of tons of failures. So let's just dive right into my failures and get really gritty with why I think that failure is really awesome. It can create focus and purpose in your life. It's always best to connect with the audience as quickly as possible. I had a key breakthrough moment where I realized that digital media was my purpose. And I wouldn't have had that purpose or focus without having all those massive failures and you know falling flat on my face. Like this show is a huge example of me failing in a lot of ways. Being on the show has been the most vulnerable experience of my entire life. And it was in episode eight when I had this key turnaround moment actually with Laverne, and we were sitting on a couch and she said, Christina, you're building this amazing brand, but you're not talking about your personal story. I feel like I can't connect with you. And the waterworks just started. I was like bawling. I've taken every trial, tribulation, and failure in my life, and I've turned it into a success. Because failure is awesome, and it'll teach you to be an amazing person, It'll give you more impact in your life, and you'll change the world. I'm thinking, you know, you did a good job, but you probably could have done a little bit better. Thank you so much for coming out today. Hello, ladies. I actually want to say how much I think you've all grown. I haven't gotten a chance to say that. And I'm really, really proud of you. You're going to inspire so many young women out there to go bold and to live their dreams. Robin, what did you think? Jayla, you were first. And I want to say the thing that I loved about what your presentation was your emotion. We were very moved by you being moved. I was struggling a little bit to really know um, what you learned just from being here. Bridget, um, I was really impressed with your presentation. I love the way that you put it together. And I love that you were so honest about the fact that you had lost all those challenges. And you showed us a moment when you decided to change and how that affected you. To me, you represent your brand very well. I mean, you, you look like that girl. And Christina, I think you did a great job presenting. You seem like a natural presenter. You're easy in front of a crowd. You made us relate to you in a really good way because we have all failed. It's like a slogan almost, you know, failure is awesome. Robbie, who is the winner of this challenge? Well, it's corny to say that you are all winners, but to me you are, but we need to pick one and the winner is Christina. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> This is so awesome. I mean, I have a really hard time being vulnerable and this experience has been like the best experience of my life. And being able to tell my story and be open is so hard for me and it's been amazing. So I'm so glad I'm here. I am feeling like I just got off of a roller coaster. I'm really happy and floored that I didn't fail today, even though my presentation was about failure, but I was surprised. And for all of your hard work, you get a day at the spa. Oh, a gift certificate wow. for a spa day. <laughs> Woo, you. Congratulations, you. Christina. Awesome. Ugly crying, again. <laughs> crying is not ugly, ever. <laughs>
ever, ever. So now that puts the score at three challenges to Bridget, three challenges to Jayla, and three challenges to Christina. Woo! So keep voting until next week when we declare our new provocateur. Until next time, go bold.